We are about a mile away from our next three days of camping here in Alabama. And just outside of the major city of Montgomery, Alabama. Actually, this campground is considered to be Montgomery, Alabama, and is a Army Corps engineer campground, which we love because it's always around water. Here we are, Alabama River Lakes, Gunther Hill Camp Campground, U.S. Army Corps engineer. Well, a lot of people don't know that Army Corps engineer have nothing to really do with the military. So the campground is open to all. And a lot of them really, really take care of their campground. They use facility fees. Okay, here come the boot, let's go check in. Life jacket worn, nobody mourns. That's the thing I really like about it. They get free life jacket. I think ours, yep, Antioch Blue gonna be the forward. License plate number. All set. All right, we are checked in. We had site 100 into in the Antioch Loop, and there's a Katoma Loop also. So when you see the Katoma Loop, you're gonna be surprised. Matter of fact, that should be part of it right there. That looked like a a host. Okay, we are all set up, ready for the night. Look at this. Yep, we're in a tent today. Oh, for quite some time. We're gonna do a video and let you guys know what's going on with patches, why we don't have patches. Oh, I have no idea if this is a paid thing or not. And the way they lined up, I would say, yeah. Peace and justice to the left, I mean to the right. Peace and justice memorial. Reserved parking. Turning to the right. Well, nope, can't park there. So we are at the Peace and Justice Memorial Center in Montgomery, Alabama. We're gonna go inside and take y'all with us and see what it's all about. It's our first time here. So let me show you the building across the street over there. I know who that is. <laughs> First, before we go inside the center, we're gonna take you through the Peace and Justice Memorial Garden. Yes. Oh my gosh. You have to come and see this for yourself. This is beautiful. Well put together, well maintained. Smell fresh. Mm. Smell fresh. I already say this smell fresh, but well, let me show y'all. Look at the flowers. Nothing like flowers. Okay. Yes. Hey, 
go pick you some flowers, but there's security over there watching. Wait. I don't Wait. I wanna get in trouble. You got a third eye, y'all. But that is so pretty. Fight the brutality of slavery. Enslaved black people develop high refined skills as carpenters, blacksmith, brick masons, wheelwrights, engineers, and a range of other crafts. In the late 1850s, enslaved people created bricks to build a Montgomery Theater, which opened downtown in 1860. The remarkable skill of these enslaved masons is evidence of the bricks that have endured for over 150 years. This memory wall is constructed with bricks made by enslaved black people in Montgomery who endure the humiliation of bondage with strength and skills that we can't touch today. So that brick wall is built by enslaved black people. Just a representation of the stuff that they built in Montgomery back in the day. Like it. Okay. Okay, we are on the inside now. Look like a pretty manicured, cured place. And we're gonna bring you all of that up there. So far, it's beautiful. I go cake right there. Okay, we're gonna bring you this inside this museum. And basically what it's about is a peace museum. It's, and if you look at this sign right here, it talks about the 12 million African that was born to the United States and how too many of them, two million died on the ship coming across here. So that's what this is about, a peace Justin museum. So here's Kate taking a picture of them. When I turn this around, you're gonna see how humans were treated with chains and in bondage, but check this sculpture out. Well, when somebody was explaining to us that particular sculpture, they used the exact type, not the exact change, the exact type that we use when the slaves were bought here and how they were treated. As we walk down this corridor here, it's gonna turn and go upward. There are signs telling you about the journey, each one of them. I'm not gonna stop and read all this, keep taking pictures of it, so we're not gonna put it on, on camera, but really enjoy it. You gotta come here and see it for yourself. And we haven't even gotten to the midst of everything, which is up on this hill. Okay, what you're about to witness right now, and you can see one of the metal sculptures here a stone i can't say stone pillar one of the metal pillars here and there are hundreds of them i don't know how many we never ask each one of these represents people that were lynched murdered killed back in the days before and actually this mostly after the civil war and each one of them have a name on it now each one of them don't just have one name some of them have three and four names like this one Three names. We got I'm not gonna show you every single one because we show you every single one could be it for hours among hours. Right. And not only that, they also have the counties where they've taken place. Like this one is Burke County, Georgia. Yes, so as you can see, if the camera picking it up, rows. Rows all the way down here. Let me step to the outside so you can see this part also. Yeah roll straight down here and all over so we're going to continue our tour and walk through it and in fact before we go on i'm going to show you this and obviously you can't read all of them because watch this some of them are hung off the ground really high off the ground and then this is basically one of them that shows states so and as we go on through it when we find something different we're going to Turn the camera back on. Like for instance, like I said, most of them contain three. Some of them contain one, most of them contain three or four, but I was mistakenly wrong. This one has at least 
10 on the gate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. With a few of them unknown. So we don't even have names for those that were murdered in Emmett County, Mississippi. Yeah, so we're going to continue our tour. And obviously, you need to visit this place. It is the Peace and Justice Museum, National Peace and Justice Museum. There's a center across the street, another location we're going to find something interesting. We're going to turn the camera back on and show you. you Got to come visit it. This is history. You know what I say about history? History is history. And we need to acknowledge history, remember history. You know, we can't always get upset with history because what's done is done. We just got to make sure it do not happen again. So we're going to continue our tour. Hold on, keep calling me. We go down the stairs right there. Here's another one. Oklahoma. There's so wow. many just in Oklahoma. They have to be two. Well, you know, Oklahoma probably included Tulsa 1921. Uh -huh. You guys just haven't seen our Tulsa video. I've done an excellent job on the video. You gotta go watch that. I'll tag it up here. But you gotta go watch that video. And you know, remember Tulsa was the, the Greenwood district and they tried to bury people in unmarked graves. Unfortunately, it came out. Like I say, history is history. It happened. You just gotta recognize it, acknowledge it, honor it, make sure the bad part doesn't happen again. Even we have great history, you gotta acknowledge it and recognize it and try to repeat great stuff, but not the best. Okay, we're gonna continue our tour. Here, all these three panels, all the way down this wall showing actually the story. So I'm just doing go to one right quick. She, Charlotte Harris was lynched in Rockin County, Virginia, 1878, after a white man's barn burned down. And they also along the wall on that side. And for those that didn't know, Louisiana is the only state that has parishes and not counties. So here's one right here from Assumption Parish, Louisiana. There's three names on there. 